starting a rumor right now, all right? Mirror's Edge Catalyst is getting a multiplayer beta or a beta of some sort, all right? I have with me lots and lots and lots of information regarding things that would make this true. A lot of recent events that have happened to make us believe that our beloved Mirror's Edge game that we've been waiting for eight years now for a viable sequel is going to get a beta in some capacity, all right? And after you hear this, uh, this stuff that I have listed, after you see this video, there is no way you can sit there and deny it. I'm starting a strong rumor right now. This isn't coming from NeoGAF. This isn't coming from any, anywhere else. No one's no one's freaking reporting on this, all right? This is just something I randomly found out, and I need to tell you guys right now who are also big Mirror's Edge fans, all right? So, what, what are the reasons why Mirror's Edge Catalyst is getting a beta? Let's think about this for a sec. Every single dice game since Battlefield Bad Company 2 has had a beta in some capacity, all right? Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Star Wars Battlefront. DICE likes to make betas for their multiplayer games. And we know that Mirror's Edge Catalyst is going to have a multiplayer component in some way. All we know about it is that it's going to be some asynchronous component. It isn't going to be, you know, something competitive or, or big or big on a scale. We all we just know that it's going to have some sort of multiplayer component attached to it. All right. And so DICE likes to put out betas for their multiplayer games. Number two. Mirror's Edge is pushing for a larger audience, and a beta is a great way to grab a lot of people who weren't even into the first game or just skipped on the first game entirely. A beta is a good opportunity to get people talking about it, get people playing it, and get people to really push the game out there to a wider audience and get people interested in it, all right? Number three, Mirror's Edge is listed on the EA test program, all right? If you actually go on EA's website, you can set what games that you wanna be participating in tests for, and Mirror's Edge Catalyst is listed in there as the franchise. And so you can actually check mark if you're interested in participating in play tests or betas or alphas or anything like that that is a franchise that they they have that you can check and say yes I'm interested in testing out this franchise and so that's a big thing right there number four all right this is huge if you went to mirrorsedge.com slash beta a few days ago, an access denied message popped up. You do not have permission to access this server. All right, this wasn't a 404 error, or error code. This wasn't anything like that. This wasn't like, oh, the page doesn't exist. Because if you type in mirrorsedge.com slash alpha, it just redirects you to, oh, this page does not exist. You may have typed something in wrong. But if you type in mirrorsedge.com slash beta, it brought you to a blank website. All it said was access denied. You do not have permission to access this server. And I thought to myself, this is when I really started figuring things out because I was like, wow, you know, and I actually contacted uh, my guy who, who's really into web design and things like that. And I said to him, does this mean the page exists? And he basically says, if it's not a 404 error code, you, it basically means that the page does exist in some capacity. They're not setting it up yet. They haven't pushed it out to the public. So that is something big, all right? If you went to mirrorsedge.com slash beta, it gave you an access denied message right now. But if you go to it right now, it just redirects you to the homepage. I actually commented on the, one of their posts on Facebook and I said, guys, listen, if you go to mirrorsedge.com slash beta, you actually get you actually get the access denied, you know, you do not have permission to access this server page. All right, that, that's something that I posted on their wall. Hours later, all of a sudden, the website now redirects you to the homepage. Curious, isn't it, huh? So. This, this is a big thing, all right? Because they probably saw that comment. They're like, oh shit, you know, people are going to catch wind of it. This is a thing that we want to keep a surprise for. We want to announce it, you know, get people excited. But now it just redirects to the homepage. Why before then did it give us an access denied, you do not have permission to access the server error message? The page exists in some capacity. It has to be. We, we, we wouldn't have got that message if I typed it in. You know, we just redirected it to the homepage like it does now. All right, and in the final, nail in the coffin is I went like above and beyond here, right? I was like, seriously, I was doing some like hardcore detective shit. So if you actually are on Google Chrome right now and you navigate over, you're on the mirrorsedge.com website and you go down to more tools on Google Chrome and you go down to developer options. It brings up this whole coding website and stuff where it tells you all the elements and stuff and where they're attached to the website. If you head over to the sources tab, 
you type in index, uh, you click on the index side tab, click uh, control F, or alt F, yeah, control F, excuse me, type in beta, and then press enter. One thing pops up in the middle of all that code, and what does it say? Beta sign up endpoint, right above newsletter sign up endpoint. The beta's happening, guys. This is this is pretty much confirmation right here. In their website coding, it says that there is a beta sign up somewhere on this website. And if you actually paid attention, you might notice also on the Mirror's Edge website that there is a login and sign up, you know, option right here. You can sign in with your EA Origin account, and they didn't have that option before. So all of this happening leads us to believe, I'm starting a strong rumor right now, leads us to believe that Mirror's Edge Catalyst is getting a beta. When? I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, is that we're going to have an opportunity to play the game before it comes out. If we weren't at E3, we didn't have any you know, opportunities to go to any of those special events or anything like that, there's going to be a beta. Somehow, some way, public or private, I don't know. But this is practically confirmation. I mean, you re you redirected the website to the home page after there was an access denied page that came up, and now it's in your website coding that there's a beta sign up. So you guys have to let me know what you guys all think about this. I'm super pumped at this point. We're supposed to this week get a new video that's supposed to make some big details on me. I suppose that we're gonna get a really cool trailer or maybe even a gameplay video, maybe like an open world, you know, gameplay video, maybe around 10 minutes long or even longer. And then I guess at the end, at the end of that video, they're probably gonna say, sign up for the beta now. And then it's gonna, they're gonna actually make the website link go live. So I'm starting this rumor right now, guys. Post it everywhere. Seriously, post post this video everywhere. Get it on get it on freaking NeoGaf and Reddit, all those places. Send it to send it to Dice or something. You know, this is pretty exciting news. We're we're freaking gonna be getting a beta for this game. A game we've been waiting so long for. It's so awesome. You know that that this is gonna happen. It's pretty much gonna happen at this point, just from all the things that you know I said. Like, why would they have? Mirrors has listed in their test program under under their beta test and alpha test that you can participate in. Why did they redirect the website? Why did why did mirrorsedge.com slash beta even exist in the first place? And why does it say beta sign up right in the coding of the website? So, with all of that being said, let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is all bullshit? Eh, it's just a mistake on their part. Or do you honestly think that we're gonna get a beta? Let me know in the comments of this video. Post it everywhere, get people interested, get people excited, alright? This is gonna happen, I cannot freaking wait, I'll talk with you guys later, have a good one.